Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. I'm looking a little bit shiny today but I hope you're all doing really really well. So it is currently 10.18 on Saturday morning which is pretty good for me to start filming on a Saturday um, this early because usually it's like gone 12. Um, but we are going to be doing a weekend vlog this week. I have actually had my eyebrows microbladed if they want to focus. Had it microbladed this week which I am honestly obsessed with. Like look at this can you see those strokes obviously i do have to keep gel on for the next until wednesday so how many days is that five saturday sunday monday tuesday yeah five days and um, i had them done on wednesday like evening um so i've got to keep gel on them so that's why they look a little bit funky and i'll show you how i sleep tonight because it's literally the most hilarious thing ever um but on today's what are we doing today i am actually going out for lunch with emma and um, we are going to a cafe like it's like a bougie cafe but it's not really bougie it's just i'll show you like it's not like a fry up cafe i'll show you when we get there we've been there before um so we're going there so i'm meeting her at one so i've got to leave here about half 12 so i've got two hours first thing i want to do is tidy my room and actually tidy it because recently i've been doing like the odd thing where i'll tidy it um but i'll only do like part of it and there's still stuff like there's recycling like i'll show you i'll quickly show you a glimpse um but that is the thing i want to do i have actually filmed two videos this morning already taking my mum to work read a bit of my book i've only got this much left and i've got to read that in the next eight days because i'm doing the one book a month challenge so wish me luck um but yeah let's go on with tidying my room because honestly the state of it actually actually hurts me so this is currently the state we have some stuff on the floor there we've got recycling down here obviously i haven't made my bed i've got ready so that is all there shopping bag i'll show you what i actually picked up the other day because i picked up some really cute bits always just stuff on my um little bench so i want to give it like a proper clean a proper tidy so it actually looks nice again so please enjoy this time lapse of me tidying my room and hopefully it looks better after i'm probably going to move you around a little bit because you're on a little tripod because i need to use the big tripod for my tiktok um but yeah let's sort this mess because like i'm not a my room is looking a hell of a lot better like all the floor is clean which is literally the longest it's been clean for such a long time that does need to go onto my bed so i'll do that tomorrow stuff i'm selling on vintage i'm giving it another week if it doesn't that will go next week that needs to go downstairs this needs to go in the recycling bin this i don't know what i'm going to do with because i don't take multivitamins but i've got it sent in a pr parcel package i've got order uh, open and i thought i would show you what i picked up in h&m the other day and i got my eyebrows microbladed on wednesday i had some time to kill because i thought i'd get there later but i had like an hour so i was like i was by myself i was like let's go do a little bit of shopping did not expect to buy anything 70 pounds later did pick up some stuff and what really annoyed me i am that girly that i will always take like a bag with me if i'm going shopping i just i know it's stupid i just do not like paying like the 20p or whatever and she was like oh this bag's free and then she charged me for it at the end and i was like it's not that deep it's fine i needed a bag but you know i'm just like grr anyway so this is what i picked up so first thing is this little um it's not a t-shirt it's like a top but it's like this crinkly material the neckline is like all wavy it has the wavy down at the top as well and honestly it fits me so nicely it also has it at the bottom there i tucked it into um the trousers that i was wearing which were like some beige trousers and it just looked so nice and i picked this up in a medium it was 11.99 but honestly just loved that as a little basic then the next two things are pretty similar so i saw these sets and I saw the beige one um, and I was like, oh my God, that is gorgeous. I need that. So I did try it on. The sizing was just a bit off and they didn't have the sizing that I need. But I saw this green one and I was like, that is gorgeous. So it's these little like woven shorts. Like you can see the pockets, but they're not see-through because I did have like black underwear on. So I picked up the shorts in a small. I tried on the medium and they were just way too big. And then at the top, I picked up also picked that up in a medium yeah oh i picked up the shorts and the small top in the medium just so it's a little bit baggy but it's just like this collared t-shirt and honestly it just fits so nicely and like in the summer just something nice to throw on i just thought it was gorgeous so that was 
$14.99 for the shorts and then the top was $15.99 so £31 for like a nice little set and it's good quality as well so I picked that up obviously didn't get the beige and then I saw this this one and I genuinely tried this on about five times because I was so unsure about it I first tried it on in a small in both because obviously I got a small in those bottoms and it was just too tight and it was just like not flattering picked it up in a medium um and again I was just standing there like do I like it do I not because I was like it's very cool if anyone watches the Sydney May Crouch it was like her sort of style it was giving me and I was like is this just going to be like for this summer like and I'm very much like I want to buy things that have long-term wear ended up getting it because I was like I do really like it I just think it's quite outside my comfort zone although it's just stripes I don't know why it just it was really outside my comfort zone so picked up the shorts in a um oh they have pockets I don't think these ones have pockets do they? oh no they do obviously because I said you can see the pockets um so I picked up these shorts in a medium which honestly this is why we shouldn't get sad about pricing of clothes uh, like sizing of clothes because I was two different sizes in pretty much the same thing in the same store um and then obviously the top is the exact same as the green it's just the little collared i picked this up in a medium as well um at 15.99 so exactly same price but yeah i had to size up in this one in the shorts but yeah that was my like mini haul and i am really happy with it i just really want to get wear out of this top one because it's a bit it's a bit cool, too cool for me but um i'm really happy so i can put all that away now that i have shown you and then that's another thing off my floor and then i'm gonna have a shower because i'm really sweating and then i do have to get dressed i've got to leave in about an hour um, and i want to film a tiktok of my outfit so i'm gonna do that and then i will show you my outfit and i'm so excited for lunch because i know what i'm getting i they have this it's like their specialty but it's on a sub roll and i don't like a sub roll so it's like chicken a scallop onion lettuce mayo i had halloumi in there and i add it on a baguette and honestly best thing ever and i'm gonna get a side of fries as well i think um and then a milkshake as long as emma wants some fries because i couldn't eat a whole bowl of fries to myself um but yeah that is what i'm gonna do now can you believe it i'm actually ready early like all the washing is in like from the line i put another load of washing in and put the old washing away got myself dressed showered did a get ready uh, get it did a get dressed with me on tiktok and just posted that and edited it so and i've got time to spare and also emma just texted me saying she's gonna be late but i was already like early like I was well on time early so now I have more time so pretty buzzing with myself but I have gone for this little jumpsuit I think it's called a jumpsuit I think it's a play suit when it's short legs jumpsuit from Primark is the denim one that I showed you I want to say like two videos back it's its first outing and then I went for these chunky trainers by Topshop because I felt a bit like a painter in my Adidas superstars um so yeah I'm ready I've got this TikTok oh not that you can see I've got this little tiktok shop a bag which i'm absolutely obsessed with and yeah i'm done i'm ready early and i just feel really good in myself as well so bloody win okay it's really loud here so i don't know if you'll be able to hear me but i'm at lunch so i got the baguette that i wanted we got some chips to share emma got a sandwich and then i got a kinder bueno milkshake I'm gonna stop talking because it's so loud but we are so <laughs> excited for this i've just got home i didn't really film much when i was with emma i think i literally just filmed my food because it was so loud in there and we were just chatting for absolute hours but i've got home and i've opened a pr parcel which i did actually know i was getting because they did reach out to me i've never heard of the brand before but they sent me their website and i just loved it it's called mao paper and they let me choose a couple of little bits so i'm going to show you what i got and honestly I just, I just love it so i was very lucky that i was able to pick up two things so first thing is this affirmation deck which i have wanted to get one of these for the longest time so it came in this pack it's really hard to do with one hand but it's a i think it's like yeah 52 cards and it just has all of these different affirmations so i thought when i'm feeling a bit sad i'll keep it on my bedside table you just can have a look at all of them like i haven't read all of them yet but i just think that'll be really good when i need a little bit of a pick me up and then i also picked up this daily gold planner this thing comes off but it's got a leather cover in and you can flick through it and it has like day by day like your goals your tasks your daily affirmations three things to be grateful for. and the good thing about this is it's not like you know like the five year plans or i do have something like this where it's like um what am i trying to say like the five minute journal but you don't have to do this every day so i really like this and it's just basically you can just write down your goals and you can tick them off when you've done it and it does have it has some paper at the back but it also has oh what is that what i'm looking for oh does it have it has different quotes i think oh i like that but it also has a um 
I saw at the start, yeah, a calendar, like a monthly calendar, and it doesn't have anything like what month it is, so I really like that you can like choose your own. Because don't get me wrong, I did love when I did my five minute journal every day, but it just gets so repetitive, so this just isn't, and I'm really happy about this. And like, when I looked on their website, it's all about like, being like the best version of yourself and like really taking care of your mental health and I was like that is something that I really um align with so I am very lucky that they sent me this I'm very very grateful I will tag the um website down below um in the description box but yeah I'm very happy so if Mal you see this thank you so very much I'm very happy with my little bits um but for the rest of the evening I think I'm just going to chill now. Sorry if you're really shaking. That's not my dominant hand. Um, and then I think I'm just going to chill for the rest of the day. And I'm going to show you later how I do my eyebrows at night. They are really, really itchy now. Like they have been the last couple of days. It's because like, it's when, it's, I don't know if any of you have had a tattoo. But if you've had a tattoo, you know like it will get itchy and you're really not supposed to itch it. So I do have this gel that I'm just keeping on it. But it's really, really starting to irritate me. So yeah, that's the fun and games. But I might actually sit down and edit you now up to this point and see how much footage I've got so I know how much roughly I need to film tomorrow as well but it's been a really nice day like I feel like I've had a bit of me in again that sounds really stupid but I just think recently like I haven't done any sit down videos I haven't really I've been like a cup sort of empty the whole time and today I definitely feel like my cup's full so yeah I feel good so it is now I don't know if you're a little bit wonky I feel like you are but it is now time for me to go to bed. It's about 25 past 10 and I have just been reading for literally like the last hour and a bit. And it's been so nice. I need to get out of the habit of like just scrolling on my phone or um, just watching telly. Um, but I'm going to show you how I sleep. So obviously I've had my eyebrows microbladed, um, as I said. And one of the things, well, I don't know. I feel like this is like the same for everyone. But how, what my lady tells me, I'm going to assume this is the same for everyone is I have to keep this gel on for seven days. Although I'm already like halfway through the pot if I'm on it. So I don't know how that's gonna work. Um, but I have to keep this on for seven days. And overnight you actually have to sleep on your back because this cream has to be on basically the whole time. If you sleep on your sides, obviously it's gonna come off, which I don't really know how you can prevent yourself, even if you do fall asleep on your back from moving in your sleep but I categorically cannot sleep like cannot sleep on my back so what she told me to do when I first started and I've just done it ever since is sleep in cling film so that is what we're going to do that is what I've been doing since Wednesday night so I've just put a new layer of the um gel on and I have this clean film. It just stays under my bed for every time that I get this done when I had I think I bought it when I got my first tattoo when I was like 18 um so it's been there quite a while and obviously trust it now not to come off in one okay so i get the cling film probably about that big it doesn't need to be much bigger and that is probably why it's lasted me like how many years is that like nearly eight years obviously i only get this done once every couple of years once every 18 months to two years and then i've only had a few tattoos and i only really needed to cover up this one i believe from what i remember uh my biggest one like the first one i got i mean um but i will get the cling film i will roll it over the only thing with clean film is it like sticks really easily but i'll probably fold it into three just so it's not too big that's probably that looks a bit small that's no that's still a bit small and oh, it go it has been literally going so easy but now i'm doing it on camera it hasn't yeah that's probably about right and then what i will do is i'll literally move my face like this so it's above my eyebrows and stick it on like so i will then cut the sides obviously and not cutting my hair so my all my eyebrows are still covered but i'll cut the sides so it's like that push that down do the same for this side okay they are both covered then this is this is not it if this was it that would be all right we are getting surgical tape or microporous tape and we are taping this down we are literally i'm literally looking at myself in the viewfinder and i'm like i look so funny so i'll put it on each and every corner the only thing is I worry about, which has been alright the last couple of nights, is um, 
the gel is quite like greasy and I worry that the tape is not going to stick but it's been all right so far so touch wood it will so that's two done then we go it's actually hilarious like why am I putting this on the internet I am putting this on the internet but I just think it's hilarious I actually think it's hilarious so and I feel like if I put it up there no one can use it against me do you know what I mean not that anyone sees it but then the only thing with my eyes is I will have to close my eyes and then put it on and then what I'll have to do is I'll have to go under and like unstick it basically so then I can open my eyes if that makes any sense because basically I can't do it too stuck because then my eyes will be stuck like that and then but it needs to be stuck down that it doesn't come off so I don't want it to be so stuck that my eyes look a bit weird but I also this looks so funny but I also don't want it to be not stuck enough that it comes off so we've done that and that I look so weird but that is my face done let's unstick this a little um and this is how i'll sleep and we just hope that it stays on until tomorrow morning like i wake up the first thing i'll do is wake up and touch it so i'm hoping that it will stay on it feels pretty secure if i'm honest but yeah this is how i will sleep this is how i'll sleep after next this is how i will have to sleep for the next so, so tonight sunday monday tuesday so next four nights if i can get enough out of this that i can do wednesday night as well i'll do five nights but if i can't i got it on wednesday so wednesday evening should be fine but yeah this is this is how i'm sleeping but i am gonna go to bed now and i will catch with you guys in the morning this this is actually hilarious morning besties we are now on sunday morning what is the time at 907 i'm just doing some skincare gonna get dressed have some breakfast and then take my mum to work but we're gonna carry on the vlog we're gonna spend today together i don't really have many plans which is pretty much all of my weekends um but i do need to do a little bit of a food shop for dinner and just some other bits for this week do I need to do anything else? I might go on a walk because it's so nice and sunny. But the clean film did stay last night, so very happy about that. But we will just spend the day together and see, see where we end up. So we are currently in Tesco's. It feels really weird to like film myself in a supermarket. Um, but I am picking up the things we need for tonight's dinner, some other bits for this week. Me and Mum had a chat this morning. We're like, we need to get better with like our diet because it's just it's not very nutritious and it's always like the same thing every single day which we'll get a bit forward of so i'll show you what it's looking like so far but i do still have a couple of bits to pick up this is what we're currently looking like so pretty healthy i mean i think everything's healthy in moderation but pretty balanced should i say I'm back from Tesco and I thought I'd do a mini food haul because I absolutely love watching these. So they're not really in order if I'm honest. Um, got two of these Bliss yogurts because they're my mum's favourites and they were on offer. Got some falafel because I'll be taking those in for lunch. Then I got some croutons for my dad's salad. Best flatbread ever. I say this every single time but I will not stop discussing them. Some tuna, my mum's coffee, these little Tropicana orange, orange juices. They were on offer so I got two of those a clear honey, some cat food, some chicken stock because my dad needs that for today's dinner. Then into veggies, we've got quite a lot. So I got some peppers, I don't know if I actually have any. Carrots, we don't. Some potatoes for tonight. Asparagus, radish, cooked beetroot, some spring onion, which absolutely bloody stink. Um, some sweet corn on the cob because one of these, uh, one of the meals this, eve this week is gonna be like vegetable kebabs with halloumi, chorizo, and then um, some corn on the cob and some couscous. So I'm excited for that. Some green beans, one banana because my dad needs a banana for tonight's dinner. Um, but the one we have is a bit brown, so we didn't know if that was all right. And then, oh my God, I'm out of breath. Ignore that, that's been there for a couple of days. Um, the last fridge bits are my favorite yogurt. So it's the Greek style and natural yogurt. I don't really like Greek style, I find it too thick, but this is perfect. Um, and then some double cream, some dips for lunches. So I got some tzatziki and some hummus. 
and then some chicken for tomorrow's dinner and it was reduced so it'll be fine once i cook it today so yeah that is everything we got and that came to 52 pound like 26p i think it's a little while later now all i've been doing is literally just giving my room a bit of a dust i put the stuff under my bed put some washing on nothing really interesting but come out on a walk and i'm not gonna lie it's very quiet you know like eerily quiet and it's hot so i expected this to be a lot busier um but i've come out now for like an hour walk because really want to get my steps in especially that i'm not um running at the moment which i cannot wait to get back into next week obviously i ran before the morning of the crash and then haven't been able to run for like two weeks i'm now feeling better but i've had my eyebrows more inflated so can't you can exercise but like you can't like be really sweaty and i'm not a non-sweaty runner like my face is dripping so gonna go for my first run next friday and then i have like three weeks and two days until my 10k in london which i am a bit scared of i'm not gonna lie like i am pretty no um i am pretty nervous about but for those three weeks i'm just gonna put myself on such a strict plan that i'm running three four times a week um and i'm pretty sure it will be fine at that point see look I'm so out of breath. I'm so out of breath. That's because I'm walking and talking. Didn't used to be like this when I was back into running, so I'm very excited to get back into that next week. But I think when I get home, my arm's hurting. Um, when I get home, I am going to make dinner for tomorrow. So I know I was saying earlier about um, having like a little bit more balanced meals. So I have spoken about this briefly before and I won't go into it too much. But I, obviously, years ago, struggled with my relationship with food. Sorry. Um, struggled with... I get so nervous when people... Like, she just struggled with high on a bike. I shouldn't say anything. But it got me nervous and got me... Um, like, she must have been thinking, what is this girl doing? But anyway, used to really struggle with my relationship with food. Um, and it went on through, like, all my teenage years to covid sort of time and i've now got to a place where i have a really good relationship with my food um but i'm just not getting excited by food because i think we're having the same dinners all the time like i don't care if it doesn't really have five a day or it's carbs like, i don't really pay attention to that calories none of it um but i'm not really enjoying it and i've worked so hard to get to this point that I have a good relationship with food. I don't want that to go back because I'm not enjoying food because I'm not enjoying our dinners. So yeah, that is why I'm doing that. So I'm trying to help cook a bit more, having a bit more balance rather than just pasta all the time because then, don't get me wrong, I could eat pasta for the rest of my life, but you do get bored of it and then you're not excited by food. So that is why we're making a little bit more effort to have like more balanced, more balanced probably throughout the week, not like balanced as in, like our dinner's really unhealthy i don't again i don't believe anything is unhealthy i think everything is healthy in moderation and i feel like i'm not really making any sense but basically not excited by food at the moment and i don't want that to negatively impact how much like negatively impact how far i've come with my food relationship so that is why i'm making tomorrow's dinner tonight i feel like i just blabbed on i don't know if that made any sense and like i really wanted to talk about it because i don't want anyone to take what i said earlier is in like i'll have a healthy food shop i don't again i don't believe any food is unhealthy i think everything is healthy in moderation so yeah just wanted to explain that a little bit but yeah going on this walk now and then when we get back we will um make dinner together for tomorrow look how absolutely gorgeous this view is like when i move house not that it's going to be anytime soon but when i get older and move out this is like a must have like i need somewhere i think i'll probably move up to where it is more like countryside-esque sort of vibe but i need somewhere like look at that that is just gorgeous i just need somewhere that there is a nice walk because this is what fulfills my heart this is what makes me happy so it is absolutely essential and i just love this little walk if i'm honest although the pollen is going everywhere and my hay fever when i get home is gonna be horrendous but yeah it is an absolute must have we are now about to cook tomorrow's dinner so this is what i'm cooking creamy garlic chicken it tastes so nice and this is where i'm taking it from the pinch of norm i don't care about like the slim side but it's such a good um recipe book if you're like a little bit unsure so i've got all the ingredients here apart from the chicken 
and I need to get out of the fridge, but that'll be the last thing. I'm gonna prep it and then we are gonna cook. This is where we are currently at. I've got a feeling I've actually made this before because I'm about to add the Dijon mustard and I feel like it's a bit of like deja vu. So I have already sealed the chicken, put that in a bowl over here and apparently I'm sauteing, whatever that means, um, the onions, garlic and mushrooms until they've gone brown, which they have, but then that's also from um, like the Worcestershire sauce. Also may have burnt that pan a bit, but it wouldn't be me if I didn't burn a pan. So I'm gonna add the Dijon mustard now because I feel like they are brown ish um so yeah add the Dijon mustard then add the stock and you let it simmer for like i don't know like half an hour until it re like reduces and then you add the chicken let it simmer and then it's done tomorrow's dinner is basically done it is just simmering away down there because i've added the chicken back in and the cream cheese because you've got to let it simmer so i let it simmer for like half an hour to reduce the sauce and now it's in the final stage it says to leave for five ten minutes i'm gonna leave for 20 because one of my fears is being sick and i don't want to get food poisoning and the chicken isn't cooked it's only been sealed so i'm gonna leave it for 20 minutes and that will cook the chicken it is now the next day and i did remember to show you my food which will make sense when you see the last clip but this is how dinner turned out and i'm gonna try it but i'm so excited it smells insane i don't think the lighting is that good but we're gonna do a little taste test mm. do you like it this was stunning 10 out of 10 recommend this but why i came on here is because it is no secret that i have struggled to get back into running since the marathon i do really enjoy running i do really like it but since the marathon i just haven't had really anything to work towards and then when i was finally getting back into it i had the crash and i haven't been able to exercise for the last couple of weeks i think i said this on my walk earlier it sounds it feels familiar haven't been able to do that because of the crash and then my eyebrows might have bladed. can't do it for a week in case i haven't said that but i feel like i have but one of the ways i thought i could help myself getting back into running is to order some new outfits because i have like very black dark outfits she says that she's literally about to pull out a brown outfit um but i don't have like any matching sets or anything like that so i thought let's order some from different brands and try and like feel good when i'm running because like nothing motivates you more than like new clothes like when i buy new clothes i want to wear them and make efforts with my outfits um so i thought i could do that with running and i ordered this friday night like literally not even 20 48 hours ago and it's come and i didn't pay for next day delivery or anything um but basically it is from my protein and i don't know how it's gonna fit have i had anything from them before i have i had a coat by to send that back but i don't know how this is gonna be but i ordered this set so it is this brown um sports bra it's like crisscrossy over the back the only thing i don't know about this can i show you the back it's crisscrossy i'll show you when i try it on the only thing i don't know about this is it's not adjustable so i don't know how supportive that is going to be when i'm running um but i did also order the matching sports bra uh, matching shorts sorry i didn't know oh this is material i didn't really want them to be but well, they look quite short mm, they might not be too bad but i do get like um i like my thighs chafe so they do need to be a little bit longer but i'll try them on i'll see what they like they might be all right to be fair if they don't ride off if they ride up then it's game over but what i want to try and do is try different brands because i find it really hard as i just said with sports stuff because i do have i don't have the biggest boobs in the world but i do have bigger boobs so i do need it quite supportive and i also have bigger thighs so i do need something that isn't going to um ride up and chafe so i thought i'd start with my protein they had like a 20 percent discount code um so i'll link what i got um i'm not working with them or anything they just had a 20 percent discount off their active wear want to try it on our active but the sets that i want are out of stock so i'll wait for them to come back into stock but yeah i thought i could try this on with you i was not expecting to get this today i thought it'd be like mid next week bit worried about these but we will and they look quite small like i don't know i'm they're stretchy so they might be all right did i need to order a large i got a medium in both of these but we'll try them on we'll see what they're like there's not going to be any telling until i go on a run in them to see if they ride up or not so we'll have a little look but yeah that is how i'm trying to motivate myself 
to get back into running. Before I try that on, um, this is the set that I got from H&M, which I showed you at the beginning of this video. I'm pretty sure I showed you yesterday when I was cleaning up. Um, but can you see what I mean? That It looks a little bit like a sailor. Like I couldn't tell whether I loved it or hated it. I'm very glad I got it now because I do really, really like it. But yeah, it's definitely out of my comfort zone, but I do really like it. I'm very happy that I bought it. But this is exactly how the other one fits as well, apart from it's a little bit tighter on the shorts. Um, but if I try that on whenever I'm wearing a vlog, I will show you. But yeah, we're going to try on the my protein stuff now. I actually take back what I said. These are not too short. These are the perfect size. The only thing is I don't want them to ride up um, when I'm running. I probably could have got a larger size in this because it was a little bit tight putting um, them around me. But then I'm thinking they're probably not going to fall down if they're that little bit tighter. Do you know what I mean? I hope so anyway. But I do really like this set. I don't, like, the bra isn't that supportive. So I don't know how that's going to be. But also I don't run, like, the fastest. So that should be all right. I did this yesterday and then it went dark. So I'm really trying not to do that. I should probably move my bra off the side, but lol. Um, but yeah, I do really like this. This is the back of the bra, like it's crisscrossy, has the my protein um, logo there and there, also there and there, and I do actually really like it. I did sort of want like more of a slinky material. This feel it's not cotton, but it's not like the slinky one that I have my Under Armour ones. But I feel like they'll be all right. I feel like once I try them out for running, then I'll be able to tell. But first impressions, I do really like them. It'll just be how they hold up when I'm actually on a run. But this makes me want to go on a run and feel good because I've got a matching set. I know it sounds really stupid, but it's how my brain works. So I'm going to try the Honor Active ones as well once they come back into stock. But I'm actually really happy with this. I just really hope these don't ride up but I would probably if I was wearing this for like a longer run or a race I'd put my chafe balm on anyway just so um if that did happen then it'd be fine because it's always the way with shorts like there's always a thing that they could ch uh, chafe uh, ride up chafe up but yeah I do really like this and I think it fits me quite nice I do feel quite good in this I'd feel good if I went on a run for this so very happy and I also like sorry I will stop talking in a minute that it's not too short like I wouldn't want a sports bra to be like that and me running like that like I feel a bit more comfortable when it is sort of like a second top but it's not if that makes any sense so yeah I think this came to like 52 pound in the sale which I'm not actually mad at it does feel really good quality it's quite thick it's not see-through in any way shape or form feel quite sculpted in it will just be like see how it is um when I'm actually running but I would just use this as like lounging around or just walking around if I just wanted something easy on but yeah I'm very happy with it. Do you believe me if I told you I cried real tears at this book? So basically it is part of the Twisted the uh, series. It is these four books which I've been reading I want to say for like the last three months I've done like I think I did the first two in a month and then the others one a month and I've just finished the fourth one and you can read them as standoff books um but if you read them together at the end all of their stories come together and it just made me really emotional because I was like oh this is the cutest thing ever and then I was like oh it's all like relationship sort of vibes and I was like oh I feel single I can't wait for that so it was like oh it was a cute end but also like oh I'm feeling a bit sorry for myself I'm not really feeling that sorry for myself but yeah it just made me emotional that it all came together and I'd highly recommend it. it's very much like if you've read Colleen Hoover it's very much her writing um and the stories very much hers but it's very um steamy some of the scenes very very steamy don't read them on train because I was always like so worried someone would just like skip and read a page and I was like oh my god they're gonna think I'm absolutely mental but I did really really enjoy those so it's by Anna Hung, Hung? I don't know how, how, who Hung um but I'd highly recommend those I've never read her books before but I think she actually might be I don't know if her or Colleen Hoover are my favorite artists her artists authors she was just a bit graphic so I'd need to read some of her other books to see if she's as graphic whereas Colleen isn't as graphic but yeah really really enjoyed that series it is a little bit later it's five to eight and i am gonna go ahead and end this video here my exfoliating mask is on so if i look a bit peculiar that is why oh i gotta put a timer on hey siri 12 minute timer thank you um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here i don't think it was the longest one and what i'm hoping i have remembered is to film a clip tomorrow but you would have already seen it of my dinner because I didn't actually show you what it turned out like I think I showed you when I was adding the Dijon mustard and after that 
I don't think I showed you anything. So I am making a mental note to myself now to show you my dinner tomorrow, but you would have already seen it. Hopefully, if you haven't seen it, I'm really sorry. I absolutely forgot to do that. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really, really enjoyed it. I'm really enjoying the weekend vlogs at the moment. So hopefully next week I will be back with another one. As always, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, join the Best Friend Club. Please remember to subscribe so you are kept up to date with my latest videos. Because I think like when I last checked, I think like 40% of my, the people that watch these, like you guys aren't subscribed. So please make sure you're subscribed. You can, I think you can press like the bell i don't know if is that still a thing i remember it used to be a thing where like if you can get notified i don't know if it's still a thing but please remember to subscribe join the best friend club and i will see you next week for another video love ya